Hello, beautiful soul. As I was going about my day, this word came into my mind and it wouldn't let me be. And this word is paradox. And as I was thinking about this twin soul connection, I realized deeply that this love is such a paradox. The more you fixate on your twin, the further you move. And the more you let go, the closer you are. This is so because this connection asks of you to release all previous knowledge that you have about relationships. This connection is a constant fountain of rejuvenation, a constant relearning of the ways th you thought work. But each layer you peel, you learn something new. And every time you let go, you are closer to divinity, to yourself and at the same time your twin. There is no other way to union than constant surrender. Unconditional love is a complete surrender to life without putting demands on it. And unconditional love actually asks of you to trust that everything you need will be there for you in each moment. And as you surrender, you will feel that you are safe, protected and provided for. And this is not a logical conclusion, but rather a deep feeling. It's a knowing. This gift of trust and surrender firstly you give to yourself and then to your twin also. When you enter self-love, you don't need the agreement of others to set yourself free or anyone's permission to be as you wish. But still, if you are currently in a soulmate or karmic relationship, or married. You cannot hate or refuse your spouse or your partner and love your twin. This is impossible because it shows you the final unification and the oneness of all. You need to have ultimate compassion and see through the illusion of judgment that your spouse or your current partner is not awakened because on a soul level they are helping you so much to live your greatest truth and actually helping your union so we are all in this together the game goes on until the truth is comfortable for both twins then they can hold this love unconditional. This love is high vibrational connection and until they are both ready, they cannot hold this high vibration into their bodies. This is why it's important to anchor a new template of relating. You cannot do the work for your twin, but be assured that this love will, will push them into self-love. This is why it lasts so long. In this holy union, quote-unquote, relationship, because it's not a relationship, it's a connection. Nobody carries nobody. You are free both to enjoy your truly healed and integrated selves. This is the beauty and magic of twin soul union. 
This is a different kind of existing in a relationship. Now, as the time of collective awakening approaches, we can see more of these relationships become the norm for new relating. When you are together, you free each other from all old beliefs and templates. These beliefs and templates are outdated. This connection is free of karma with two individuals that are truly each in their own kingdom. You can charge and fill each other up with no end and no beginning. This is the eternity loop. And I just want to give you reassurance and confidence to be okay because you are not there until you are not there so meanwhile you just relax in meantime what can you do then surrender surrender and surrender some more and if you put them on a pedestal and give them God qualities this is okay also because your soul knows that you are bringing this eternal love to earth and this is a huge task. This is amazing and beautiful. You are anchoring a divine love into this dense third dimensional reality and this is not easy. Your body needs to be ready to hold this love. You are literally both becoming embodied quote-unquote gods. Entering your power is such an amazing, amazing gift and grace. And we should treat this power with such respect. But you already know this, my beautiful soul. You are loved and protected and guided. Until next time, I'm sending you much love and light.